Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. I can't get out that way. I have to go back this way. There's a, a shark interested in us around here somewhere. Where is he? He's stuck under the ship. He's under there somewhere. I, I, oh, now, now, now he comes up. Now I got, I got more of them coming over there, and then I got this dude here chewing on me face, which is, it, honestly, it's, it's, it's not as much fun as you'd think. It really isn't, but... Turn that one around there. Right, so there, I've, I've got all these sharks around here, and I, 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 I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely happy about the way that they're chewing on me right now. I, I, I'm thinking that maybe we could try to persuade them to do something different. Find another chew to There's another one coming in right there. I half suspect he might. That one over there is close enough that he is also going to cause a problem. So I'll take you, and then I can take you down like that. Let's start Ollie healing up, considering he's down to 4% health right there. I gotta keep better I, I I gotta keep better care of my pets. I've gotta pay more attention to him. Poor poor Ollie. He's here under the water. He's half drowned, bedraggled, soaking wet. It can't be very pleasant for him in here. Can't be very pleasant for the poor lad at all. Let's let's mend him up again. There. Now he'd be feeling better. He'd be feeling much happier now. We got Namani Vars down there. Let's go and grab that one. And then I got I got one more bit to go and get there's another shark in here. What is with the sharks? It can't be that much food for them here. Like, honestly, you know, sharks don't normally congregate in these kind of numbers because they're, they're literally, they wouldn't have the, that amount of food kicking around, would they? I suppose we can always just blame it on magic. This is um, Azeroth after all. Azeroth has strange things. Go on. Right? If any, if ever there was going to be a time when magic was going to be the root cause of a number of issues, this would be it. So I need a Cinderai scrying crystal. Oh! There I need to get Scoodles. He's the dude that I need to get. Pretty sure he's the one. Right, come here, Scoodles. Is it you that I've got to actually get? I, I, I think it is. I need to use the, um, the fish bladder again. That, that gives me another three minutes. So I need to go this way. And wait for... Sc Scoodles, you're supposed to come round in a loop and come back towards me. So that I've got a chance of being able to take you down. I'm pretty sure you are the one that's holding this Sindori scrying crystal. I'm absolutely positive of this. There is Scoodles. I'm out of range. There he is. Right, come on. In you come. Bring it in. Give us a hug. Thank you, Scoodles. If I have I done this right, I suppose I should. I could could always like read the quest. That would tell me. There it is. No, nope, I didn't need to. I got that one right. There he is. And there's our Berean leather. Now I can scramble up to the surface like this and get that one. Swift Red Griffin. Okay. So now we go back to the pirates, and we can turn in his quest for them. I had a couple of pirates down here. There's, there's three of them that we wanted to do things for. So we've got... Uh, first up, I've got this dude in here. What can I do for Silver you? Moon Harry. What are the elf treasures? Unlike any other, it's not just the gold or the silk or gems used as materials. Sindori craftsmanship is valuable in and of itself. Are you lost? No! Harry takes the crystal from you and gently pets it. Oh, my precious. Did the big mean whale hurt you? It'll be okay. I'll never let you out of my sight again. Harry looks up at you. So, where were we? Uh, uh well, to be honest, Harry, me old mate, me old mucker, um, it doesn't matter where we were. Right now, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about you. And, and your frame of mind. Those artifacts are cursed, and you'd be crazy to go looking for them, Dwarf. I, I know for certain that anyone who, who's come into direct contact with any of these items has either gone mad or been killed 
Take that staff, for example. Last I heard, the ship that held it was abandoned and left to rot on the coast of the Isle of Spears, north of here. If you want that thing, check the ship's hold. Whatever you do, don't bring that staff back here. And steer clear of Abdul. He'll tear your heart out. I don't know who Abdul is. Kind of a little bit concerned, considering the warning. Frozen heart of Isildoth. Some say Jonah was never quite right in the head, but I know the truth. It was the heart. That damned frozen heart. I saw the change in him the second he pulled it from the grave. I could see the blood freeze in his veins. It was then that the madness truly took over. He left us to hole up in his cave on the north side of this island. Last I heard, he had thrown the heart in the back of his bear den. Too little, too late. I'll kill him. I'll kill you myself if you even think about bringing that heart back here. You listen real close. The lost shield of Acerite, Acerites. You listen real close. You can, if you listen real close, you can hear cannon fire coming from the northeast. That's Captain Ellis's ship, Sister Mercy. Thing is, Ellis and his entire crew were killed about a month ago. Harry nods. Ghost ship. If it's info you'd be wanting about the shield, Ellis is the man to ask. Sister Mercy docks on the small island between here and Sorloff's strand to pick up more souls for the ship's crew about once every five minutes. There'll be no shortage of souls around these parts. Uh, we have... Yes, Via. Safe travel. Come online. Who, who, is, who is this? This is Tello. Hello, Tello. Let me say greetings. Hello. Right. The ancient armor of the Kvaldir. I was on the vessel that was bringing in the armor. We just boarded the ship and were headed back here when we were attacked by a forsaken destroyer. They boarded our ship, took all the booty for themselves, and then sunk her. That was the last I'd seen of that armor. If you want, you can take my bomber from the Scalawag to the dreaded isle that the destroyer be docked. Talk to my woman, Alanya, just outside. She'll get you on the bomber. If you manage to find the stuff, don't you dare bring it back. See you later. Okay, we got quite a lot of stuff that we want to do out here. The boss. Vicious rumor. Uh, yeah, sends the one in charge. Um, Tello sent pets to Grondorn, and I completely forgot about it. Can I... Is, it, is this class... This is not an inn right here. Uh, this is not an inn. Do we have an inn? We don't have an inn. This isn't an inn either. Right, I'm just going to log out here, and I'm going to go and log on to Grondorn right now, and we are going to take a look at these two pet... Uh, the two... Uh, few uh, pets. He said pets. These pets that Tello has sent us. Champion, you are needed Ooh. in Stormwind on a matter of great urgency and discretion. Come at once and come alone. Come at once and come alone. I have unspent talent points because that needs to be reset. Tello! Some new pets for you to display. We've got a Murgle in here, which I don't have, and a Dagger Tooth Frenzy. Very cool. I don't have that either. Right, okay. I will take both of those. Thank you very much, Mr. Tello. That is absolutely fantastic. I did eat that now. Um, we're going to get one of those. I'm kind of thinking that we ought to do this quest, this urgent request one, because this is the launch event. So it does mean that we'll be doing less stuff with um, Beldrast, but I, I do think that maybe we should seriously consider coming over and at least doing this quest and finding out a little bit about what it's all for. So what I'm thinking is... Um, no, I don't have them. Hang on. Right, I've got those four quests to go and do. But I've also got some to go and turn in. I've got one to turn in here. So I'm going to turn in the quest that I've got to turn in. And then this one, we're going to go and put Beldrast back in an inn somewhere. And I'm going to go on Grundorn. And we're going to do the launch event. Because this is a one-off, unique event that doesn't happen again. It's, it will run till the launch. But I just thought I'm probably not going to do much more recording after today. Good day so to we'll, you. We'll have a look. Let's see. Uh, did you obtain my relics? Oh, excuse me. 
Did you obtain my relics, Beldras? Nobody gets by in this life on good looks alone. Not even me. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say, handsome Terry. We're going to go places together, Beldrast. With my good looks and your can-do attitude, we're sure to make a killing. Us pirates are known for many things, but hygiene isn't one of them. Most pirate ships be carrying five or six times as many rats as people. It's no wonder all the bears on this island caught rabies soon after we moved in. Long story short, the boss wants them all dead. It just so happens I know a recipe for a bear musk fragrance popular among Stormwind nobles. We kill the bears and sell the musk. I see a fine business opportunity for us here. What say you? Have a good one. Oh, I don't see why not. Mr. Terry, I think that could do quite nicely indeed. Okay, Tarek over here. I've got even, I've got, there's a lot of quests here to do with these pirates. Right? There's a lot of quests here to do with these pirates. We've got a plane over there. That is Alanya, Silver Moon Harry's companion. Uh, that's to do quests. So I'm not going to do Hail. that yet. Winds be at your back. What brings you here? I heard you did a little work for Terry. I was hoping someone reliable would show up around these parts. See, pirates love to gamble. They, however, do not love to pay their gambling debts. If you are interested in collecting some coin on my behalf, I'd be willing to give you a cut. Let's start you out with an easy one. Silvermoon Harry's a bit of an eccentric. Keeps all sorts of expensive blood elf knickknacks inside his tent. Yet when I see him, he always pretends to be broke. Get my gold. Walk with the Earth Mother. I think Silvermoon over there is going to be a little bit annoyed with me soon. What with what I've got planned for him and all. And then I've got another quest to go and turn in up here. Scuttle Frostpaw. That's the swabbing soap. Need assistance? Where's that blubber? And don't try to tell me he ain't got none either. That big Roy is so damn big, it's a wonder he can still galump around. I uh, can't galump around anymore because I kind of extracted his galump thing. Ew, that's a stink if I ever smelled one. Go on now, put it right down here. Yeah, I'll cast my spell and she'll be swabbing soap for sure. Alrighty then. Right, well that little bit there is done. And I haven't got any more... Feeding, oh, feeding survivors I've got. I could go and do that one, but I'm not going to. Now we're going to, we're going to half back. I'm going to go back to the inn, and we're going to stop there for a bit. And I am going to go on to Grundorn. I'm just going to take a minute. I'm uh, not so worried about tidying up his bags, but I am going to take a minute to just, like, have a look through his talents and stuff like that. And, and we'll see what this launch event is all about. I got a quest... Right there, when I opened the, I got the celebration package. When I opened up the little parcel that you get, so you got the WoW 16th anniversary stuff, and I got this War Chief's orders quest item signed by the Dark Lady herself. Let me sort out my talents a second, and then we'll have a look at that. Okay, I used to have an ability here that healed me up. I would do. The Avenging Wrath, call upon light to become an avatar of retribution, increasing your damage and healing and critical strike chance by 20% for 25 seconds. And while that was active, then I would hit the one here that healed me up for a whole load. But that one that I used to, it was instant cast, uh, beautiful healing ability, uh, that one's gone. I no longer have that one. I do have the Lay on Hands, it's got a 7 minute cooldown on it, but this one here is gone. Um, we've got other ones here. I've got a Blessing of Freedom, which is immunity to movements. Blessing of Sacrifice, which helps somebody else out. Hammer of Wrath hurls a divine hammer that strikes an enemy for 650 holy damage. Only usable on enemies that have less than 20% health. So it's kind of like a kill move. Which actually would probably be kind of useful. Now, I've got a trinket move right there. Uh, I've got the Ardent Defender, which reduces all damage I take by 20%. Uh, cleanse Toxins over there. The Taunt. So, Hammer of Wrath. I'm kind of thinking that that one needs to go on here instead of there. I've got an Improved Trap over here. Let's put that one down over there. Right, so I've, I've got... That one ought to move up a bit. 
and I'm keeping the Seaforium. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I've, I've got my flask over there, which is a trinket move, so that one can just be moved out of the way. This one here, Hammer of Wrath, is generates one holy power. The enemy has got, so it's, it's the kill move, that one is. Um, they've got to be below 20% health before I can even use it. Let's try the Blessed Hammer and we'll see how that works. Well, we're going to have to go for a little wander and we'll test some of these out. Um, I don't want those. I, I think I'm alright with the rest of these. Holy Power Ability of 15% chance of making your next Holy Power Ability free and deal 20% increased damage and healing. Which is pretty good. That is actually pretty good. I like that. Um... This one generates holy power, this generates holy power, this generates holy power. Shield of the Righteous is what uses up my holy power. It requires three, or I've got the healing one there, which also uses up three holy power. And then the Hammer of the Wrath, uh, Hammer of Wrath, which is for finishing opponents off. Okay, I think we've got some nice balance on there. There's the new abilities. We have the Timely Invitation. Time has arrived to remember the past and celebrate our adventures across Azeroth and beyond. To commemorate the occasion of Bronze Dragonflight, yada, yada, yada. That's the um, Caverns of Time one. I can decline that. I'm not interested. That's the War Chief's orders. Oh, no, it's not. Our spies report that farms and villages of Stormsong Valley are sending supplies to Kul and soldiers. It is only a matter of time before they do the same for Alliance troops. as cannot stand see Stormsong for the Horde. Cut the supply lines. Such is the price of war. Oh, that was something else. Champion. A urgent matter of great urgency has arisen, one that requires your immediate attention. Due to the sensitive nature of recent events, I must withhold further details until we meet. We have much to discuss. King Greymane and I... Uh, King Greymane and I await your arrival at Lion's Rest. Matthias Shaw. Right, I think that was the new quest that literally had just turned up. Now, I don't have flying in this zone. Let us go. Wait, why is there a quest down? What, what is the quest down here? Siege of Boralus completed. Is that one that I'm supposed to do in here? Lady Ashvane's return. Go to the front lines to aid and go with Talia to the docks and engage the enemy. Did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Now I'm just confused. I'm just very, very confused. I don't even remember doing that bit. I'm going to leave that. I know I've got a big confusion of quests and stuff here, but uh, I'm actually going to leave. Oh, I mustn't forget, actually. I, I got these new pets. Murgle is going to be the first one. We're going to learn Murgle right here. Ooh. What's this? Collect 400 unique pets. That is fantastic. Venus has been added to your pet journal. Murgle has... Who's Venus? Element... Oh! That's the achievement. Right, there's Venus. There's that one. I've... I, I gotta name both of these. But I can only use one. So we'll do Murgle first. View Murgle, right there. There is Murgle. He's going to be our first one. Drops from King Gakula in Nazjatar. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for this one, Tello. That it, this is just awesome. Uh, Yorkshire Dano, you can go. But it's actually Batstar is the one who's got our latest pet. So Murgle right here. We're going to have to rename him from Batstar. Let me, I'm, I'm looking into... The Great Book of Names right now. And I am looking for Batstar. Where is young... There is Batstar. Ryan G is our next person in here. Ryan... Can I do spaces? I don't think I can. I can. Ryan G. Ryan G right there. Summon up Ryan G. There he is. And then I'll have to do the, the new um, t Venus, the, the new plant. That will be the next one. You will run around with us for a little while after Ryan G has had a little bit of time in the sun. Um, Yorkshire Dano is left. I've got a different pet over on my, my other character. We'll worry about that some other time. Um, I need to... 
go from here now. So, right, uh, take the portal from Sanctum the Sages. So, we bring the invitation from... No, I don't want that one. Abandon that one. Yes, I'm not doing that. Right, war campaign. John J. Keishan. Four of 25 chapters. Help Bronze Brand's beard. Dark forests of Nazmir in search of lost Captain Conrad. What? Battle for Lorderon. You join King Ander in Sands of Voldoon. Uh, Harbour of Sethrak Raiders before... Oh! Right! Okay, that's actually very cool that you've got the whole war campaign thing on there and it tells you all about what you've done. So, I'm not interested in doing that at the moment. I've got all of these. So, treasure map right there, 2 of 12 pilgrimage scrolls. There's Sia online. Greetings, um... Mr. Chief. So is King Greymane in Stormwind City? Paul's Origination, Tolvir, the Grand, Nazjatar, Shadow Moon, Storm Song. T Which one is it? Dungeon? Siege of Duralis is complete. Death Rise. Ah! Ah! This one. This is the one that we're doing. The others, I guess I could untrack most of those. But th this is the one that we need to do. I need to go and run off into there. And head to Stormwind. Go and turn this in. Is that Stormwind? That's Ironforge. That's Exodar. There's Stormwind. There's a book. No, oh, that's Silithus over there. Storm Stormwind, right here. This is the one I need to go to. Right, what exciting new stories have we got? I'm, I'm kind of um, keen to do this because I know that there is a bag you can get. It's a it's a bigger bag than we've got currently. It's like a 34, it's, but it's a low drop chance. And this is the bit that I'm not so keen on. It's a very, very low drop chance. Some people have managed, uh, sort of done quite well on this, this whole um, drop chance thing with this one, but... Not everybody. A lot, a lot of people have struggled with it. Now, where, where am I supposed to be going? Urgent report. Not House Wakerest. It's this one. Report to Gen Greymain at Lion's Rest. Missions. Ah, uh, yeah. War campaign ship. Right, let's not worry about that one. Lion's Rest. Oh, that's why I couldn't see it. It was right underneath that bit where the stockade thing is there. Um, at the Lion's Rest down over here. So we we got to we, we got to go and see Gen Greymane over here. How? How could I let this happen? Let what happen? High Inquisitor Whitemane. Talia. Chandris Feathermoon. For country, for family. Uh, did you and Sen want to finish running the A Nation United chain quest for BFA before Shadowlands drops? I think we need the last dungeon to finish it. I think I've already done it, though. Like, it's, it's, I've got Siege of Boralus, Lady Ashvane's Return. It's saying it's completed. Okay, I might be doing the dungeon, although it's saying that it's completed. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look. I, I don't know. It's not going to be yet. We'll, we'll see. I knew you would not hesitate to answer the call, Grundorn. I'll be brief. The very heart of the Alliance is under attack. The undead scourge is swarming in numbers not seen since the return of Arthas Menethil. Amidst the chaos, something terrible has happened. What I'm about to share with you has not yet been revealed to our allies. They will be told in due time, but I needed to speak to you directly before word gets out. Allow me to explain. We will have justice for the fallen. The Banshee's accursed shadow hangs over us all. She will pay for what she's done. Right, what happened? Gilneas.
Ooh. Cutscene. Expecting that. <laughs> if that is any indication of what the next expansion is going to be like, I am really looking forward to this. This is this is going to be wickedly cool. Oh, that was that was very awesome. Right. I, I kind of want to watch that cutscene again. That was brilliant. All I do, I do for Gilneas. We must find a way to rescue Anduin and the others, but in this moment the safety of our citizens and our allies is our highest priority. As such, I have reached out to those experienced in dealing with threats of this nature. That's why we got Matthias Shaw, High Inquisitor White Mane, Chandris Feathermoon. Well, folks, that's all we got time for today. Even the mightiest heroes sometimes need a bit of rest, and we are far from the mightiest, so we're very, very tired. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.